What's good, everybody? This is your boy Jagging Off, the Go to Jags YouTube. Not for the Bowl City Duval, we in the fucking building yet again. Well, feels good to talk about something other than this fucking disgrace of a coaching search, but luckily it is over and it ended with Doug Peterson, which is a very good thing. Unfortunately, what I have to talk about is not so good news. Well, I mean, I guess, yeah, it's it's not good. It's not good. So, I see Twitter and Facebook groups losing their minds over DJ Chark taking off all his Jaguar shit on Instagram and unfollowing the Jags on Instagram. I think he still does on Twitter, but not on Instagram. Um, indicating he could possibly be departing this year. Now, I don't know what caused this. I don't know what happened. I don't know if someone pissed him off or what happened exactly, but this seems to be the case. Now, let me say uh, let me say this. My thoughts on it are DJ Chark was one of my favorite players. He is. And you know, I met the guy before, you know. You know, I, I like him. I like him. But um let's not kid ourselves here. The wide receiving core last year was fucking trash. The entire pass catching group was trash last year. And that and like, it was the worst on the team. Like it was the worst position group on the team, bar none. And if anything is due for a if any part of the team needs a major overhaul, it is that. And this is the year to do it because the only three I think that are still under contract are Marvin Jones, LaVisca Chenault, and um and Jamal Agnew. Kind of the same with tight end too, because you know, obviously we have a number one tight end with Dan Arnold. He's under contract. Um and then we got and then Chris Dick Hertz is under contract, and then Will Farrell's under contract. And uh James O'Shaughnessy and uh, Jacob Hollister, they're due to become free agents, which honestly, they both can fuck off. I don't need them. I'd rather get Zach Ertz. But, um, yeah. That whole unit is due for a major overhaul. And as much as I like DJ Shark, and as much potential as I think he has, his career in Jacksonville has somewhat been underwhelming, to be completely honest. You know, he had, you know, let's look at it. His rookie season, he was some shit. Then his, then the next year was his Pro Bowl year, his thousand yard season, which was really good. We thought he was on his way. Then, um, to the 2020, he was, I, right. but, um, I think that had to do with the quarterback play more than anything else. Like, since, you know, we wanted to play Jake Luton and fucking um, Mike Glennon instead of Minshew's stupidest shit in the world. But anyway, and then last year, he um he made it to the Cincinnati game and then got hurt. So, and he didn't do much before that either. Like, I think week one, he had 80 yards and a touchdown. But after that, that was kind of it. So, and like I said, the, the team is due for a major overhaul. So, I'd like DJ Shark back. I would want him back. But at the same time, I'm not going to lose I'm not going to sit here and lose my mind over if he doesn't want to come back. Like if he's mad at us or whatever and you know, he wants too much money, he wants to fucking um or he just wants to leave, I wouldn't get into a bidding war over him. I'm, real, I'm sorry, I wouldn't. Unless you want a fran unless you want a franchise tag, and which then that's going to be a whole thing, I'm sure, if he gets that and then holds out and shit. Like, I mean, he's I mean, he's really the only one worth using it on. Maybe besides besides maybe Cam Robinson. 
Like, maybe giving it to Kane Robinson again, or, you know, give it to him, or give it to him, but then if he doesn't want to come back, you know, may include him in it, may you trade him. Like, try to get something for him, at least. And, um, I don't know, maybe package him in a deal for Calvin Ridley. Who the fuck knows? But, but like I said, this, I'm sorry, this isn't a guy that I'm really going to, I'm going to want to get into a bidding war. We need a massive fucking overhaul. So if we lose him, that means, you know, we got to get some, we got to get somebody good in free agency. And then we got to, um, look for some, and then possibly look for somebody in the draft. That's why I'm a big advocate for trading down. Like I'd fucking, like I'd fucking get, I'd fucking either keep Cam Robinson or sign Taron Armstead. And then sign Derek Barnett because he's got history with Doug Peterson. And then trade that fucking pick down and draft uh, goddamn Traylon Burke or something. Like, I mean, Pittsburgh or New Orleans, they're perfect trade partners that made, that make sense, that need a fucking quarterback, and we can get a hell of a lot of draft capital for. I'd sign those two, get another receiver in free agency, and then draft Traylon Burke. It's really, that's really a simple fix. But... I mean, yeah, like if, well, yeah, like, like I said, I want Chark back, but if he doesn't want to come, if he doesn't want to come back, it's not worth, you know, drama or whatever to fucking go through all this shit with him to get him back. Like I, and like I said, I think he's a good receiver. I think he's got potential, but like I said, he's not somebody I want to lose my mind over. Like, it would be kind of a shame because we'll have nothing left to salvage from that 2018 draft because we stupidly traded Rodney Harrison and Taven Bryan was a fucking disgrace. Everybody else besides DJ Chark sucked. So, like I said, it sucks, but, you know, I thought he was somebody who I thought really was going to be here for a long time, but <sighs> I don't know, man. I hope it work. I hope it works out. But um, like I said, he's not somebody I'm going to lose my mind over. But if we do move on from him, we better have some replacements in mind. That's all I got to say. But um, I don't know what y'all think. But let me know what y'all think. That's it. That's all, people. Been your boy jagging off. Go Jags. Do well till I die. Go.